problem that will be demonstrated in this lab is, does heat affect the rate of transpiration in plants? A key aspect in this lab will be the potometer. The potometer consists of clear plastic tubing, a glass pipe head, a ring stand with clamps, and the plant that is being tested, as well as water in the plastic tubing. The job of the potometer is to measure the rate of transpiration. As water travels upward toward the stems and leaves, the water will evaporate and go through the stomates of the leaf. This causes the water level in the pipette to decrease due to the rate of transpiration of the plant. There will be two potometers being used in this lab. One potometer will have a plant that is being warmed by a heater, and the other potometer will have a plant that won't be heated. Once both potometers have been set up and the plants are in one side of the tubing, we will begin to measure the distance that the water travels down the pipette for every five minutes. Before we continue on, I will talk about the materials and the variables of the transpiration lab. As stated previously, the potometer will consist of clear plastic tubing, a glass pipette, a ring stand with clamps, the plant that's being tested, and water in the tubing and pipette. Scissors were used to cut the leaf off the tree it came from, and a bottle with a plastic syringe was used to get water into the plastic tubing and pipette without air bubbles. Food dye was used to clearly see the water traveling down the pipette, and the heater was used to warm up one of the plants being tested. The independent variable would be the amount of time that the plant transpires. The dependent variable would be the distance that the water has traveled down the pipette. The experimental group would be the potometer with the plant that is receiving heat from the heater, and the control group would be the plant that receives no heat. The controlled variables would be everything stated previously with the exception of the heater. Therefore, the experimental variable would be the heater because it will only heat up one of the plants in the lab. The data that will be collected is the distance that the water traveled down the pipette for both the control and experimental groups. We will measure this distance change every 5 minutes for 35 minutes. Once the lab is finished, we will calculate the rate at which the water has traveled down the pipette, which will be in milliliters per minute. Now that we finished the lab, we can now look at the data we collected and determine whether heat affects the rate of transpiration. We can see from both groups that as time increased, the distance that the water traveled down the pipette increased as well. However, after calculating the rate at which water traveled down the pipette, we notice that the experimental group has a faster rate of transpiration than the control group. From this, we can conclude that heat affects the rate of transpiration in plants. The heat from the heater increases the temperature of the water that is traveling up the plant and into its leaves. An increase in temperature will cause the water to evaporate at a faster rate, which then leads to the water leaving through the stomates of the leaves at a much faster rate. Because of this, the rate of transpiration of the plant that received heat is higher than the rate of transpiration of the plant that received no heat. Therefore, the results of this lab clearly shows how heat affects the rate of transpiration in plants. Keep going. Actually, this might work. No way. No okay. way. No, stop. Now, you can sit. No, okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> <This was> <laughs> okay. Don't nice. do it too tight. You're gonna crack the thing. 
I'm a ninja, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna, that was a bad idea. Yeah.